Today was one of those days where I did not want to do. So the forecast for the weather said fine. And I don't just mean pretty fine, I mean it said blue sky all the way through until tomorrow. Yet that feels and looks a lot like rain and boy is it looking windy up there. It's a good start to the week. I had planned on doing this hike for sunrise, but could just not convince my head to make the trip. I was not feeling motivated, I was not feeling inspired. After a few hours of not doing what I should be doing, I was reminded of a video I had watched not long ago about inspiration, motivation and action and how they are all connected. You cannot take action without motivation and inspiration you cannot find inspiration without first taking action. So what is the way to start? Well the way to start is simple. You take action. It does not have to be in any particular direction as you most likely do not know which direction to take just yet. But you just take an action. You make your bed, you make a hot drink, you tidy up a bit and afterwards you're allowed to stop and have a break and feel rewarded for the action you have just taken. And this simple step of just taking action will start to give you inspiration and motivation. So here I am on that very same day, now doing this hike at sunset instead of sunrise. From being clouded in, and nearly raining, to, oh, I don't know what this is, this is classic Taranaki weather. But if that light keeps breaking through, and we get as patchy as I want, hopefully we can find something to shoot. Man, I love steps. Stairs are my best friend. And while I may have seemed positive there, what was interesting about this hike is what my head went through during it. Every time I tried to think about a photo, all motivation and inspiration left me. But if I did not worry about the photo and just focused on the journey, my head felt great. I nearly turned back a few times and the mental struggle to keep going was very, very real. as I came around this corner wind and it's cold I have to swap the hat for a Benny right I think if we walk to the edge of this rock here should be it oh man there's a path that comes up here I didn't come up the path <laughs> it's not really high enough to get the dangly leg shot it's beautiful, but where's my photo? This is always actually the hardest part of landscape photography. When you're exhausted, as you can tell, and tired, and they're going to try and be creative and inspired. Fitness is a big part of this, but I need to find the shot. Let's keep looking around. I climbed up that. That's good. Nearly there, going to the, the rock. <laughs> Whew. Right, I don't know what the time is, but it's still pretty light. But as you can see, the sun has set from Humphreys Castle. But I need to get there, get my shot, and just get down as soon as possible before it gets too dark and I get too tired. Hardly touch my water or my food. So once we get there, we will recharge and refuel for the trip back down. 
So I struggled on, knowing that being out in nature felt better than sitting on my couch at home. That in nature, focused on the simple action of hiking, even if I never found a good photo, was better than doing nothing. Made it to the top of Humphreys Castle. You know, I've never done the summit before, but from here it doesn't look too bad. That's a view I've never seen before. The shadow of the mountain from on the mountain. So I've seen it in photos before, but I've never seen it in person. That's pretty cool. Having reached my destination, you can see that my headspace is feeling much better. But I set up my camera gear and took what shots I could before the light started to fail. As I've been running short on time, I've actually made the mistake of running out of time and I haven't had enough to as you can hear I'm getting tired, really tired. But I haven't had enough of a chance to eat and drink, but I think it's more important I get off this part of the mountain where there's no track before it gets too dark and I'll eat when I find a path again. That was fun and easy. <laughs> Look at that, shit, she's a beautiful sight. The sunset's getting beautiful. Pity there's no light in Humphreys Castle. Coming down's definitely easier than going up. Here's a reminder for next time, this spot, those hills, I don't know if you can make this out, but there's, the light's just hitting them. Maybe coming back here next week might be with a zoom lens. Might make a good shot. Remember this moment. Still got a long way down from a long way up. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I'd got a great photo, but I knew that I felt great for reaching my goal and the destination I had set for myself. I was exhausted, but in my head I had felt much better for having tried rather than delayed. So as the sun finally set and the day ended, I made the trip home knowing that no matter how I felt about the final images, I felt great for having tried. That was a bit different to my usual stuff. Well, I say usual, but this is only week, what are we at, three now? As usual though, I thought I'd share with you guys as we go through the photos. So this first one with the shadow from the mountain, I'm not overly fussed about it to be honest. The cloud coming in from that right hand side is nice and I do like the shadow. Uh, Humphreys Castle is a bit too dark. It's not bad in it. I enjoy the memories from looking at it. But photographically on its own it could do with some more work. The next one definitely a lot better light on the castle. I'm just light that up in editing a bit and it's still got the shadow in it and the foreground leading up to the image is definitely a lot better so that's not too bad but still something about that cloud adds a little bit of weight to that right hand side to me. Nice I'm glad I did it but still we'll keep working. Actually Looking at this now, and we'll leave this in the video, I can see at the top of the Humphreys Castle there, it is a bit dark um, from where I've done a bit of a sloppy job editing. You can see the, the lower part is brighter, and there's even like a little bit of fringing, not fringing, um, haloing on the right, left-hand side there, well, and on the right. Overall, that's just not great editing. I can fix that and ignore that for the purposes of reviewing my own work, but still pretty similar to the last one, really. I think I like the previous shot better, actually, but... That's okay. I think my favourite one from the set is actually this one here. It's a lot simpler. Um, just me having made it along. While there is no or well, very little detail in Humphreys Castle, I think I like the sense of scale in there. Me on that incline. Well, it, it feels like it represents the story so much more to me. It wasn't a phenomenal trip, to be honest. Well, sorry, the trip was phenomenal, but the photos are just okay. However, remember when I said remember this moment? Maybe coming back here next week might be with a zoom lens, might make a good shot. This here is a great shot, so instead of coming back with the zoom lens, I just took a quick snap with the wide angle lens that I had on me and didn't think too much of it. And when I got back home and looked it up in editing, wow, I loved it. And it really suits the title and I'll probably titled the episode of the gates of heaven i love that last bit of light breaking through that day there and just shining through into the valley and that's new plymouth city just behind there i mean that's you'll be able to see it in print but it's it's back there nice little bit of detail i walked along that path to get there 
I'm proud of that image. And to think I wouldn't have got it if I hadn't have even made the trip. So as always guys, thank you very much for following along. If you'd love to buy one of these images, and especially at the, the Gates of Heaven shot, please feel free to reach out in any form of social media or email, etc. that you can contact me on. But otherwise, if buying a print's not for you, a like, share, subscribe, or even just leaving a comment down below would mean the world to me. But otherwise, until next time.